What is up, my wonderful YouTubers? Real Touch GML here, back with another game maker tutorial. And today we will be going over how to create an advanced boss. Now, uh, if you have seen my last tutorial, which is how to create a basic boss, um, then this will be the the continuation of that. If you have not seen that one, go ahead and hit that link in the description. Uh, but we're pretty much going to be going over all all of what that tutorial was uh, in this tutorial again just taking it a step further so right off the bat I'll go ahead and show you what I've done here kind of a preparation before this is I just made a player that shoots um, not too hard to do if you don't know how to do that go ahead and check out the link in the description there will actually be a couple links and you can check those out uh, if you'd like but if you do then let's go ahead and continue on so Right up here in our sprites, I actually made our sprite boss and our sprite boss bullet. And in our SPR boss, we have three images here. Now, if you've seen those games where they're like, uh, where you, you know, you hurt the boss and like, like he does something different afterwards. Like as you go on, he gets harder, and uh, you you uh, you try and he he does different things. That's what we're going to be doing with this. So this is uh, what happens when we start off here. This is what happens when uh, you know he gets to about half health, and then this is what uh, happens when he gets to about like you know on, you're on the verge of killing him. Then he goes crazy. Uh, so this is what he's gonna look like. All right, and I've also created the boss bullet, which is just an eight by or a sixteen by sixteen, just a little circle there. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your boss, so OBJ boss, and give him the sprite. And right off the bat, we're gonna set up a few things in the create event. So we're gonna say image speed equals zero, image index equals zero. We're gonna set hit points to equal 100. We're gonna set global dot phase, and I'll explain what all of these do in a second here. Phase to equal one, and we're gonna set switching to equal false. All right, so these are just some variables that we need so image speed equals zero because uh, we don't want him cycling through those images and image index equals zero means he's gonna start off on this image here because if you see on the bottom it says image zero <coughs> so it's image index equals zero we set hit points this is going to be his health so we don't want to actually use the health the global health variable because uh, your player might use it and I don't want to get that mixed up with your game so we're also going to set global dot phase to equal one, and this is which phase he's on. So he starts off uh, with you know the not so mad phase, and then phase two will be the frowny phase, and phase three is when he goes crazy, like I showed you with these sprites up there. And then switching equals false. I'll go ahead and get into that when we get there. But uh, let's go ahead and create the boss bullet now. OBJ boss bullet, and there we are. And you can just click OK off of that for right now we don't really need it right now um, so in our in our OBJ boss in the step event what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna uh, sort of cycle the phases so if global or no, no no I'm sorry if hit points is less than we'll say uh, 50 then global dot phase equals 2. Well, not 22. Alright, we're going to do the same thing. If hit points is less than, we'll say, 30. Global dot phase equals 3. So this is at the point, so if you get him below 50 health, or actually we're going to say less than equal to, so this is if, this is going to happen when he's equal to 50 health and when he's equal to 30 health. We'll actually say 20. Uh, so, if hit points is less than equal to 50, then he's going to turn into that frowny phase. Uh, same with phase 3. So now let's go ahead and set it up the images for it. So if global.phase equals equals uh, 2, image index equals 1. If global.phase equals 3, image index equals 2. So there we go. And now if we went ahead and said collision with our OBJ bullet, which is the bullet that our player uh, shoots at, we're going to say with other instance destroy. 
and we're also going to say hit points minus equals 10 we'll say so if we went ahead and put him in the room now there we go right there and we play it and we hit it and we just hit it there you go now he's a frowning face and now he's that mad face so that all works and uh, now let's get on to what he actually does in the phases so we're gonna say if global dot phase equals equals one all of this is gonna happen so we're gonna say um, speed equals zero because uh, we're just gonna have him sitting there and if floor random say 50 is less than zero or I'm sorry less than one instance create x comma y comma obj boss bullet alright so what this does here is it sets our speed to zero and if floor random 50 is less than one so floor is like a whole number uh, for Java it's an integer so floor would be like 10 20 30 40 15 uh, 37 22 a whole number, it's not a decimal like uh, 4.232 or something like that. Uh, so it's going to create this as a whole number and it's going to say random. So it's going to create a random number 0 through 50. And if that number happens to be 0 because it's less than 1, it's going to create this. And since it's in the step event, uh, it's going through this a lot. So uh, that's what I want him to do on phase 1. Uh, so if we went ahead and went to our obj boss bullet in the create event we're gonna say if global dot phase equals one move towards point obj player dot x obj player dot y at a speed of 10 we'll say and actually you know what we'll copy this now and we'll paste it two more times and this is going to be two and three and then this is going to be we'll say 15 and then 20 so the bolts are going to get faster as he moves on so if we played it now as you can see he does actually shoot it now um, we might need to change the numbers a little bit though because he does not shoot that much now if we get him to the point where uh, he gets frowny face you should see the bolts increase in uh, speed here if we can get one to uh... oh we actually didn't do that yet <laughs> sorry um, so let's go ahead and copy this now paste it down if global dot phase equals two we're going to say h speed equals five and this is where we're going to be using our switching uh, variable. So, if switching equals false, we're going to put it in there, and then we're going to say switching equals true. Oh, I'm sorry, just equals true. Now, uh, we actually need this because of one reason. When we set h speed to equal five it's going to continue to equal five because it goes through it every second uh, or I don't know how much it goes through the step event but uh, it goes through it a lot more than once I'll tell you that much and uh, we actually don't want this to be doing that forever so <clears throat> we can say um, if X is greater than equal to uh, 592 H speed equals negative 5 and then we can do the same thing here if it is less than equal to 0 H speed equals 5 so now if we went ahead and played it I'm actually not sure if this is going to work now uh, oh okay it does work actually <laughs> um, yeah there we are so this actually needs to be uh, where am I 48 
Now, the reason this is not, because our room is actually 640 by four or uh, 480, and the reason I put 592 instead of 640 is because uh, I put his, uh, his origin in the middle, and so it's going to detect when the origin is at 640. So you got all this half of the body going out of the screen. So you need to subtract 640 by 48. Same thing with the zero. So if we play it again, as you can see, the bolts do get a little faster here. And he does uh, now do that. And we can actually set this down now too. That's the beauty of this uh, full random. So now he's going to have a higher chance of shooting these bullets. So I'm actually going to put 20 down. Now for our last one, we're going to say if global.phase equals 3 we're going to say um, move towards point and now let's go ahead and find a a cool spot to put him so let's put him right there so if you notice on the bottom there uh, right right down here it actually says the coordinates for us so 64 by 64 and you guys may not know what I'm trying to do here, but uh, you'll know after this. If you watch this tutorial a couple more times, then uh, you'll know what it is. So move towards point uh, uh, 64 by 64, and we need to say if switching equals uh, true, because remember we set true up here. So it's going to do the same thing. It's going to move towards this point uh, so many times that we can't even, you know, do it. So now we're going to say if x equals 64 and y equals 64, switching equals false. Uh, and now it's not going to move h speed because we're out of phase two. So then, if switching if switching equals false. We're gonna actually set up path so path so set path or what is it move path oh, what the hell is it uh, and I will get back to you guys I actually wait hang on a second here path uh, see even I don't know all these but uh you know path start so the path we're gonna say PHT 1 speed of 10 um, false false we'll say so PTH 1 let's go ahead and do that so let's name it PTH 1 now let's get the room of room 0 here and let's find our we're gonna do smooth curves not closed let's find 64 by 64 so right there. So now we're just going to go ahead and go crazy. So this is when he goes crazy. Um, and then you can set this up however you'd like. There we are. So that should work. Let's go ahead and test it out. So, put him to. Oh, all right. So, as you can see, he shoots out more. And okay, we actually need to. Uh, let's see here. We'll set this to true and true. Here we are, and we're actually gonna let's go ahead and set up one more variable path equals false, just so to make sure he's not trying to get in that path. If switching equals false, and path equals false, and then we'll set path to equal true. So let's go ahead and test that out again. 
uh, I'm actually doing this as I go on so okay looks like there's a little problem here. it's probably the uh, this right here I will be right back let me go ahead and try and solve this okay guys I am back and uh, <laughs> actually a little stupid reason that uh, this was not working I actually okay so here is the new code so if switching equals true it's gonna move towards that point if X is less than or equal to 64 and Y is less than or equal to 64 uh, switching equals false now this is the one thing I did not put in if switching equals false then speed equals zero because what it was doing is it was going towards that point but it still held the speed of 10 up here so it it would be it would the path would be going well but uh it would still be going at a speed of 10 so and that's why it was kind of glitching uh like like back and forth like that so i also did if switching equals false and path equals false i'm actually not sure if i added path in our last yeah i think i did uh so and path equals false path equals true and path start our path at a speed of 10 0 and false so now if we play it as you can see here's phase one there's phase two and then phase three as you can see he does follow the path and then you can just say if if uh, hit points is less than or equal to zero then uh, then like instance destroy or something so Go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I know this is kind of a weird tutorial, but uh, I will see you guys next time. And he actually does stop there. You can change that by sending that to true. Okay? <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys next time.